Hey guys, so I'm John Evans, Fishing Adventures, I'm Evan Beal, as usual. And today, well, it's not necessarily a fishing video, but since with all this wonderful weather, sprinkling a bit of sarcasm right there, it's about time to start how-to season, because as you can see, well, as you can't see yet, this weekend we're gonna actually have some of the first flurries of the year, and today, I've actually already done a video on this uh, tip, but the video was so bad because it was actually our first video that I felt like I wanted to redo it, and that is how to make a fishing float out of a pen. Uh, not only was this video a huge success, it has like 22,000 views, but I also got some complaints and a lot of people saying that it was a great video. What you're going to need, you're going to need a ballpoint pen, of course not a clicker pen, just a regular ballpoint pen. You're going to also need a paper clip, just a small paper clip. Um, you're also going to need um, a hot glue gun, and you're going to need some sort of pliers. I've got round nose pliers, but you don't need them, you can use regular needle nose pliers. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with this build. So as we can see here, we've got our ballpoint pen right here. Um, you can use either this kind, or you can use this uh, crystal kind. But to make the video a bit easier to see, we're going to use this one. So, first step is take out the ink cartridge of the pen. You're not gonna need that. Um, and so now you can basically just put that aside. Next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need to get our paper clip, which somehow magically disappeared. Let me go get another one. Okay, I found a paper clip. So now it's time to start putting this thing together. So first off, we're gonna just fold the paper clip out, as you can see, just straightening it and making it a nice straight wire. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to leave a bit of a tag end and we're going to then just wrap our and just bend our uh, paper clip around our um, round nose pliers. And I'm also going to kind of crimp that as well. Okay, so as you can see, I've made a very tiny little eyelet right there out of the paper clip. Um, one wrap around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our wire cutters on our pliers and just cut it off. So now we have just a little um, a little eyelet right there. Okay? So next what we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, wrong pen. Get our pen and just make sure it fits in there as you can see. It, it fits nicely and snug and it's not going to move around too much. So now what we're going to do we're going to take our hot glue gun and this is basically the only main step that you have to worry about getting right our hot glue gun is ready to go. And so we're basically just going to pump it full of glue in the front and then just push our eyelet into it. Like so, as you can see there. And that's going to just keep it in place. And we're just going to add a bit more glue around it to make sure the air cannot escape the pen like so okay and that is basically it you are basically done with your float that's how long it takes that literally only took about a few minutes okay now one final thing let's say you're using one of these crystal floats that's one of these clear pens um you'll notice on the side you guys probably can't see this but right there there is a little hole i don't know what that's for maybe just so that way the Maybe so that way there's ventilation inside the pen. I don't know why the hole is there inside the pen, but you're going to have to seal that with hot glue. This sort of pen that you usually get at like hotels and stuff, they don't usually have holes, but like uh, the ballpoint pens, like these clear ones that you often get at uh, Walmart or whatever store you go to, they have holes So in the side, so you need to plug those up. And again, you're basically done. Um, now... There's been a lot of people that have been uh, complaining about this, and I'm going to answer a few of those questions. So, number one is, how am I going to see this thing? If I'm using something like this, how on earth am I going to see this? Like, I don't have falcon eyes. I need something to help me see it. Well, there are some solutions to that. Number one, you can get some sewing thread and just bind and wrap that around to make an orange tip. And then just take some hot glue or maybe some epoxy or super glue to just glue it in place. I guess you could use electrical tape, but that wouldn't be as much of a permanent fix. You could get some paint and then just seal it with some 5-minute epoxy to 
to keep it from getting waterlogged. And that's basically a few different solutions to that. Another thing, if you don't have pens lying around, you can also make these out of plastic straws. You just need to cut the straw to the correct length and just seal up one end and then um, with hot glue and then perform that same procedure with the other end. That's literally all you have to do. They're very simple, very cheap. And the thing is that these so are so much thinner and more streamlined than floats, for example, like this, 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 stuff like that. These are way more, um, uh, more buoyant and extremely, um, and they have a lot of surface tension, which can uh, make fish be deterred by your bait. So these are great for panfish, catfish, small catfish, um, crappie, that sort of thing. Lots of types of bait fishing. Um, and they can really increase how much, how many catches you can produce. If you're using something like this with a little panfish, which I see a lot of people do, you're not going to get as many fish because they're going to let go of your hook because they feel this big float. Whereas with this, if you add a shot, a split shot, and you get it to where only this amount of the float is out of the water, it barely takes any weight for them to pull that under, which is an extremely deadly technique, and you can get a lot of fish that way. So, another thing I've had people say is that it's hard to put these on. My dad has said that, I've had friends say that, but I found some ways to make it even easier to put these things on. Um, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so there are two main ways that I have found to put these things on. Okay, so the first method is to just do what I call the cow hitch knot, okay? And so that basically entails, you just pinch the line, you're not making an actual knot, you're just pinching the line where you want the float. You then take that pinched loop, put it through the eyelid of your float, as you can see, and then pull that loop over the float. Pull, and as you can see, it's on there, okay? And when you loosen it just a little bit, you can slide it up and you're down the line pretty effortlessly. And then when you want to take it off, just push the loop, push both ends of the, ta of the line, Pull the loop back open, pull it back over the float, and pull it out, and you're done. However, lots of people have found that uh, it's hard to get off, which is understandable. I found that myself. However, there's another method, um, and that is these. And these are just little uh, bobber stops. And you can get these on eBay for like a hundred pack of these, like a hundred of these, for like under a dollar. It's ridiculous. And it's just these, this little, these little wires, these little looped wires with these little rubber stops on them. And this is how easy it is to put it on. So let's say you're tying up a rig, okay? You want your float to be on it. All you do is you take one of the looped, looped end of wires and you put your fishing line through that wire loop. Then you take the bobber stop that's on that wire loop and pull it off its wire loop and then it just goes straight on to your line, okay? And you can slide that along your line without damaging your line at all, okay? So it's slid on there, as you can see. Just take your float, slide it on, put the line through the eyelet, okay? And you can just leave it like that and put a split shot underneath it, and you can have a sliding float if you're into sliding floats. However, if you um, do the same procedure, you put the line through the eyelet of one of the wire loops, and then just pull a bobber stop off its thing and then pull it up and near the float and as you can see that just kind of traps the float it just traps the float in between the bobber stops and again you can easily adjust how high it is on your line um, and so yeah those are two different methods you can put these floats on again I'm probably going to get comments on this video on saying why on earth are you, are you going to make some cheap fishing floats when you can buy them at the store for like a few bucks. Personally, I think for what floats do, they just float on the surface and they go under when a fish pulls on it. I think for how much they are for at the store, like a few dollars, I feel like they're too expensive. So these are a great cheap alternative. And you don't have to just do it with pens. If you want something a bit larger, I've made them out of highlighters. Um, I've made weird ones like this. Um, so there's lots of different ways of making these things. 
Um, for example, this one, this was like an old marker, and I just I did a few more steps to plug it up, and uh, that's all you had to do. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped you save some money. Uh, if you're wondering why a fishing video didn't come out this week, it's because I went fishing two days this week. However, um, I'm going to be making a little bit of a, a mini movie out of it. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And of course, this is Evan signing out.